please note down these notes have been uploaded in the description of video please download your notes dear students this is second lecture on repair and regeneration bsc final year students very important topic for final exam in this repair and regeneration in our last lecture we have discussed in different groups like protozoans like sponges porifera in case of cilantrates we have discussed it by giving a suitable example of hydra in case of flat worms platyhelminthes and we have explained it this process repair and regeneration in case of flat worms by giving an example of planaria dear students in case of nematodes round worms like ascaris the power of repair and regeneration is very poor because in these organisms there is a definite pattern of growth and that definite pattern it it is utile utile means there is a definite there is a fixed number of cells in every body organs dear students note down competitive exam students in case of round worms like ascaris nematodes the power of regeneration is very poor because these animals show utile pattern of growth and in this there is a fixed number of cells in every body parts in case of annelids in these segmented worms like leech hirudinaria there is no power of repair and regeneration dear students in case of earthworm here in case of ferritiva posthuma if more than 15 anterior segments are removed then the anterior part cannot be regenerated in case of unis that is a parallel worm in this unis the anterior part of body which possesses non sexual part and that part is which is non sexual that part is etoc while the posterior part of body having gonads it is sexual part and this sexual part it is epitoc competitive exam student note down each and every point in case of unis that is a parallel worm here the anterior part of body which is non sexual it is and that non sexual part is etoc a t o k e while the posterior part which is sexual part and that sexual region is epitoc not down here in case of unis this sexual part epitoc and it can be regenerated in number of time it is repetitive regeneration in arthropods like insects crabs spiders having a remarkable power of regeneration these organisms can regenerate their body limbs in case of prawn palimon lobsters having a special power that is used for self defense having a power of autotomy self cutting or it is amputation self mutilation self cutting autotomy tomy means cutting to cut the body limb and that part can be regenerated later on that kind of regeneration it is restorative dear students that kind of restorative or it is epimorphic or the process is epimorphosis in which the lowest part can be regenerated molas in these soft bodied animals like snails regeneration power is limited in certain body parts like eyes can be regenerated here in case of molas the eye that is simple eye it is ometidium and that simple eye is present on a small eye stalk that is ometophore in these molas snails pila the eye as well as eye stalk means the ometidium as well as eye stalk that is ometophore can be regenerated 
as well as in these organisms having a power of regeneration like tentacles, like body shell, mantle, etc. In echinodermates like starfish, estrays, it can regenerate its low star. Dear students, the starfish can regenerate its limbs, its arm up to four. Here, the starfish also shows a power of autotomy for its self-defense. It cuts its arm, which can be regenerated in Eurocordates like tunicates, acidians, hardmania, sea potato, entire body can be regenerated from the blood cells. In cyclostomes like sea lamprey, patromyzone, in case of patromyzone cyclostomes, the amocytus larva can regenerate its tail. Amphibian. In case of newts, in case of salamander, frog, toads, dear students, in case of amphibians, having remarkable power to regenerate their lost limb, as in case of newt salamander, if this limb cut down, then the sharp cut, this wound can be closed and closure of this wound occurs due to the growth of this epidermal this epithelial tissue and this closure of wound by these epithelial cells occur in response of a factor that is epidermal growth factor EGF Dear students, in case of newt salamander amphibians, here the lowest arm, its wound can be closed by the growth of epithelial cells. And that stimulus is provided by a factor that is epidermal growth factor. Now, in this wound, after closure of this wound, a mass of cells and these cells are undifferentiated or these are de-differentiated cells which are derived from the differentiated cells like connective tissue, like muscle tissue or bony tissue. And these undifferentiated cells produce a conical projection or it is a bud and that bud is blastema. Here, in this blastema, the undifferentiated or de-differentiated cells undergo redifferentiation. As a result, new limb gets restored. In reptiles like wall lizard, hemidactylus, it also shows a power of autotomy. It cuts its tail for self-defense. But dear students, the newly formed tail that differs from the original tail, that kind of regeneration, it is heteromorphosis, means different type of tail develops. In case of birds, the repair and regeneration is very limited. The birds can repair its damaged beak. While in case of mammals, show reparative regeneration. Certain body parts, it is limited. In case of mammals, it is limited in skin, blood cells, RBCs, mucosa of gut, liver and kidneys. Dear students, if in case of human, if one kidney is removed, the second kidney, the size gets increased. In second kidney, the cells undergo mitotic divisions. As a result, the size of kidney, the mass of kidney that gets increased. That kind of regeneration, it is compensatory regeneration. In order to compensate the workload of second kidney, the size becomes enlarged. 
and it is called compensatory hyperplasia or it is compensatory hypertrophy this is all about repair and regeneration in animals